Hello and welcome to the full video tutorial of the Small Business Finance Tracker Spreadsheet. In this video, we're going to go through a deep dive of exactly how to set up and use the spreadsheet uh, and to use it to monitor and meet your business goals uh, throughout the year. So with that, we'll take a look at the home page where we can see there's three distinct sections. You have the income entries, the expense entries, and the analytics tools. Throughout the year, you're going to spend a lot of time in the income and expense entry pages, making sure you enter in every time your business makes a sale and then every time your business incurs an expense. And then you'll be able to use those analytics tools to monitor your business's performance throughout the year. So diving into the income page, uh, every time your business makes a sale, you're going to record all the information you see here, which is uh, some high-level information about the customer, uh, that made the purchase, the date they made the purchase, uh, a little bit of a description about that, how many items were sold to them. And then you're going to get into the financial data of what's the gross revenue from that sale, what did you have to withhold as sales tax, uh, what were the costs of the goods that you sold them, uh, and then did you have any commissions uh, for the platform you're using to sell, uh, or perhaps you have a salesperson, how much did you have to pay them for the commission? And then the fees, so things like credit card fees, make sure you include those as well. And that's going to get you all the way down to your net income on each sale that your business makes. If that item or service happens to be canceled or returned, make sure to select yes in the return column. This is going to be important for uh, the analytics tools that we'll see later. And then you're going to record every expense that your business incurs throughout the year. Make sure to record the company or person that you're paying. Uh, the date of the expense, a description of what you actually purchased. Make sure to select from the drop-down menu the appropriate expense category uh, for whatever it is that your business purchased and the payment method that you used. Uh, and then finally, make sure you record the dollar amount of the expense. And as you enter in that data, the analytics tools are going to automatically update uh, and they're going to do all these calculations automatically for you in the background so you don't even have to think about it. Uh, so looking at a number of the tools, in the top left we have the monthly cash flow, which is going to show you your gross revenue, uh, your total expenses, uh, and then your net profit for each month throughout the year. And the yearly net profit walk is going to take you all the way from your gross revenue, subtracting out all those expenses of running your business, paying for the goods, uh, any commissions and fees. Now it's going to show you what your final yearly uh, net income is uh, as you go throughout the year. In the bottom left, you can see the monthly return, so the dollar amount of every time someone made a return, uh, totaling those up each month throughout the year. And then you can also see the quantity of items that you sold each month throughout the year. And in the far right, you can see a breakdown of all the expenses that your business incurred throughout those different categories uh, that we had mentioned on the expense page. And you may notice these will line up with the tax categories. Uh, whenever your accountant's doing your taxes at the end of the year, they can just take the dollar amount from each one of these buckets and plug it in directly to your tax form, uh, making uh, their lives incredibly easy there, or for you if you do your own taxes. So with that, uh, thanks for watching, uh, and feel free to reach out in the comments if you have any questions. Thank you.